that is absolutely available in what we call the Partner Resource Center. There are sales presentations, marketing templates, there's even templates for emails um, that you could use in the web integration package that Derek just showed you. And this is, of course, available to you too once you contact your partner specialist. Um, Derek says, great job. Will this presentation be available afterwards? Yes. You will receive an email with the link to this presentation. Um, if you just want the PowerPoint, you can definitely get that from your partner specialist. Yeah, or even if you just go to managedonlinebackup.com, it is a, a live example of our partner site, but we do have some downloads available on that site for studies about data loss and how to prevent it, uh, as well as this slide deck and some and the sample risk registry. Okay, this is strictly uh, this is strictly a competitive comparison for SOS Server Save um, to show how we stack up against Zenith, Intronus, and I three sixty five, which I just learned this week is now going to be called Evolve. Um, we offer a much more competitive technical solution. It is truly a full technical solution, as you can see. We've got Exchange backup and granular recovery, SQL, SharePoint backup and recovery, centralized management. Um, which some of our competitors are not as strong in. Um, security, some of them are not as strong there. And flexibility, such as the ability to offer almost unlimited seats per account. Additionally, reseller programs um, for these competitors are not as robust as ours. And, and by the way, all of these things like web integration package and partner resource center that we've talked about that seem additional, are included in the SOS Server Save Reseller Program price. And before we move on, just for a, an example of what people were doing before, is a lot of our partners before we entered with Server Save were partners with Zenith, Introdus, and I three sixty five for the BDR part of it, the image based backup and recovery. And then they came to us for the file and folder backup because we were so much better. Um, and more affordable. So not only were we more secure with more features, but better price point. And with the addition of server save, we've had such an overwhelmingly successful conversion rate from our older partners to our new program who say, oh, thank God, now I don't have to partner with Zenith, who is charging me $2,000 just for the box to put on site to even talk about a backup solution. We don't we don't require that you buy some proprietary hardware from us. That was never our game, and we don't plan on entering that. We let you just put up any type of black box you want, you know, Windows-based, of course, and then you get everything that Zenith has, plus what we've always been the best in the business at, which is an online, online protection of your data. So now what we've seen is, rather than being, again, a complement to a backup solution that included one of these three, and then us, is that it's now literally the SOS Online Backup column plus SOS Server Save column rather than SOS Online Backup plus Zenith or plus Intronus or plus I365. So not only are we providing more than what they are at a, but at a tremendously better rates, just really ninja price points that you can undercut your the market at. Calvin wants to know, for demo purposes, is there a log on to the product that we can show our clients? Yes, um, contact your partner specialist about that and they can hook you up. Um, this, I think I may have mentioned before, but the SOS Server Save platform is already winning accolades. Uh, we received our fourth PC Magazine Editor's Choice Award this year, which was really exciting and we absolutely celebrated. Yeah, and that's not like the onlinebackupreviews.com website, which is just basically pay for your spot. PC Mag is a, is a big deal. and They do true evaluations and they, they really run all the software through the ringer. And they've compared us against everyone who's ever been in the online backup space. Uh, Norton, HP, Mosey, Carbonite, Elephant Drive, Backblaze, you name it. We've been com compared directly against them, and we still come out on top. So we've been you know, very happy to see that we continue to do that, and it's uh, a little better in our cap, really. And if you'd like to read the review, uh, it's available from our blog, blog.sosonlinebackup.com. There's also a link to it from our homepage. It would be an awesome thing to show your clients once you become a partner. So let's talk a little bit more about the competitive landscape, um, and this will be the last 
kind of competitive um, market thing that we go over before we get into the product. Um, SOS Server Save moves your partnership into a much more competitive segment. The file and folder backup area is, I'm sorry, into a less competitive segment. The file and folder backup area is pretty competitive. Um, there's a lot of low-cost guys in that area that are not as good as SOS Online Backup, but they're still cheap. So SOS Server Save moves us into true cloud backup for servers and a true complete business solution. So this chart shows where SOS Online Backup used to live. And if you were a partner a year or two ago, um, you either lived in this space with us or you went outside, like Derek mentioned, and purchased additional backup for servers from Zenith or Acronis. You don't have to do that anymore. By partnering with SOS Server Save, you get to play in this entire area. It's a big sandbox, big fun recess time. And you get to do it all for one price, and we package you with sales and marketing materials. And think, think about the time that you save in training yourself and your own staff in different vendor relationships. Now that you can consolidate your backup solution to a single vendor, you know, for both your image-based backup as well as your cloud backup at, at file and folder level and exchange granular recovery, you have one vendor relationship to maintain, you have one vendor website to be familiar with, and one product to train you and your staff on. So it just it really brings together things on the operational side of things. Again, really streamlining your entry into the market, which includes things like training you and your staff. So it's just a, a, a really nice package. And if you notice, SOS is the only name that is featured in every column across the board. So it's, we're the only ones doing this right now. So now it is time for the product demo and Q&A. This slide is just a quick reminder of how expensive other solutions are. Um, other solutions in the market are priced at 24 gig per, uh, I'm sorry, $24 per gig per month, and that's the wholesale price. SOS um, has offered the SOS Server Save program at less than $40 per server per month. And that each server comes with 200 gig of cloud space which you're able to portion however you want. It doesn't have to be dedicated to the server. You can portion it to um, your client's laptop fleets, workstations, other servers, whatever you want. Um, this is a very, very flexible program, and we think that being flexible will allow you to make more money. So with that, I will hand it permanently over to Derek and let him go through the product demo for you. Sure. And I recognize a couple, couple of names from uh, our older program that are on here now, and those guys will be able to tell you, you know, if we put them on that, for $379 a month, getting a terabyte of cloud space and five server seats is pretty unreal uh, compared not only to what we used to do, but compared to what the market does today. Uh, it's, it, it's really quite special that we're able to do that for you. So I'm going to open up a remote session to one of our 2008 boxes. R2, and we're going to go through a server save to show you what it looks like. All right, so it looks like we already have <clears throat> EGR up here. Let me go ahead and close that out. <clears throat> Let me get a backup started. So this is the server save product. So you log in, and then it's going to have your logo here and the title of the service here, so Acme Online Backup, our full partner. There's an application view that shows the five different agents that are involved in the service area program, or you can go to set up backup and go by a case-by-case -case basis. This is a file server I'm currently on. This is a laptop that I'm currently on. <clears throat> but we're just going to go through the applications, uh, the application view for now. So online backup and recovery and bare metal image stream are essentially the same, or it's a different tool to be used for the same purpose, to get information off site. It's just that the bare metal image stream tool is specifically for image-based backup off site. So it's a, it's a different, 
a different development strategy to handle those large files, you know, 500 gigs, 200 gigs, whatever it is, than individual file and folder backup, which is just a lot, a lot different. So we've kept, we've kept them as separate applications for now. <clears throat> so you install this at workstations and laptops, and you would install this at, at a server, whether it's a file server or if it's your staging server and you're backing up the images. Creating an image is pretty simple. You, we have the bare metal image creator right here. It does exactly what it sounds like it's going to do. And then this is our exchange granular recovery agent. So if you needed to get some part of your exchange server and recover that, you could do that here. <clears throat> bare metal image creator, go ahead and open that up. And I'm gonna go to backup jobs and just delete this because I'm gonna recreate the exact same thing. Uh, we have the wizard here and I hit backup. You go next. And we can do different views here, but basically this is going to let you select a volume or a number of volumes with what which will be transferred into an image. So for demo purposes, we're going to take our massive five gig exchange volume. And now it's going to ask us, okay, well where do you want to back it up? Well you can what's really nice about this wizard is that it lets you define your volume even if it doesn't exist, and it'll create it for you here. So it's really nice to do that. Uh, for our purposes, I'm just going to go to the F drive, which is another virtual drive, <clears throat> rather than a staging machine, just because this is, a, this is a bit of a demo environment. So I have next, and that's gonna ask me, okay, well what kind of schedule do you wanna back this stuff up on? And this is very traditional. Anyone who's familiar with uh, using Zenith or Intronus or any image-based system is going to be pretty familiar with what you're doing here. <clears throat> you're going to run a full backup less often than you run incrementals. Why? Because incrementals can be run while the file is open and it also happens much more quickly. So for some big systems, a full image of an entire system may take you know, hours and hours, where an incremental can take you know, five to ten minutes, if that. <clears throat> so, uh, the other thing about this is that this is scheduling the local backup. You know, where is it going to go and how often is it going to go there? So you can do it weekly or you can do it on a monthly basis, uh, really whatever you like. Uh, weekly, maybe a bit much for the full backup because traditionally you're talking about managing different limited media devices like tapes or drives. but uh, you can still go it that way. Uh, this minutes between backups means it's going to run an incremental every hour between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. And you can change that however you like depending on the environment. But it, that gives us an RPO, restore or point objective of 60 minutes. An RPO is how recent or how far back can I recover or how soon can I recover information or how old is the information I'm recovering. RTO, restore time objective, is how quickly can I get things back up and running. So our, our rather ambitious goal over the next three and six months, in the, three, six, and nine months, is to be able to provide our partners with an RTO and RPO objective of about 30 minutes. We're looking to really just ninja some things up here, and we're going to have some great new features when it comes to things like cloud boot and you know, VM ready images in the cloud and we're going to see some new services come out over the next uh, over the next two quarters. So we'll go ahead and leave the schedule here. Uh, you, you can compress it. Again, this is local. These are local settings to your staging machine. And you can encrypt it if you like. Uh, we don't recommend encrypting it if you're going to be taking it off site. So not all images are going off site. So if you if they're not, then you encrypt it locally. If they are going off site, then don't worry about this. Uh, our service is going to encrypt the data before it's transferred, as Shailen mentioned earlier, at 256-bit AES. So we don't need to double this up. And for those of you familiar with encryption procedures, these are nonlinear algorithms, and encrypting encrypted data really takes a whole lot of time. So you're going to be slowing down your performance significantly if you encrypt before going off site. Uh, retention policy, you know, how often, uh, how locally that is, how, how much do you want to keep those files? Again, you want to have this in line with what kind of online backup strategy you're going to have. 
You have different commands you can put in here, so pre-snapshot, post-snapshot, post-backup commands, things like pause database, restart database, restart server, shutdown, those types of things. You know, just you know, a little kickback to your own batch file, that file days. So we'll say OK. Uh, we can also split the file. Again, this is kind of a historical thing. Usually with <clears throat> limited media devices, you would do this. And uh, 